When you decided on Doreen, how did you end up choosing which estate to go with? Um, at the time, I believe there was only one estate that was still selling, um, and they only, they only had a few blocks left uh, in, in an area that we sort of wanted, which was quite close to a national park, and we really liked the idea of having that on our doorstep. We literally went out there and looked at what it was but like. And it was what... the sort of thing, uh, we looked at that area, and, and it, which was, it, it was a five minute decision that we didn't, yeah. didn't want to build there. Yeah. Um, well, it was not as nice, not as green, not as a um, little bit further out. Um, it, it, was, it was yeah, it was going to cost more as well it because was, the, yeah. that block of land had like a, a three meter fall on it, and yeah. it meant we would have had to have like a three tiered retaining wall in our backyard that took up the entire backyard, and which just made fencing not ideal. and like just things like that. Whereas mm. the where we are now, we're we're a street away from um, the gorge, which is a national park, so. They'll never build there, it'll never be. Yeah. Um, it'll never turn into more housing, so it'll always be like right near parks and yeah, nature. There's, there, yeah, there's so much more nature. <laughs> yeah, it was just there. nicer. It, it was almost like the place that we'd looked at had been absolutely stripped of mm. all of its trees, mm. all of its everything, mm. and just thrown houses in the area. Yeah. Whereas this this estate sort of felt like that the houses were built around the nature and, yeah, and kept left, a lot of the originality of it. They've left a lot of land. like um, the, the gum trees and all the natural, like there's um, little pockets in between houses and things everywhere where there's, yeah, gum trees and, you know, it's just, it was so much more greener it just felt so much less of like a big much nicer estate. place to raise kids so you, when you chose your estate at what point did you kind of engage with the salespeople or were they involved the whole time how did you kind of go about that process we went to well, the land office I think yeah two or um, three times my sister's quite involved in the, mm. the building industry, so mm. she actually uh, called up and teed up a meeting with us at the sales office yeah. at the land, and I think we signed there and then and, and put, think... put the, the very small amount of deposit that yeah. it takes to lock the land in. Mm -hmm. um, but we, of course, we still had a, a sort of retainer where we could back yeah. out of it if we wanted to and get all of our money back, but we were very happy. We were happy. We were really happy where we were. Mm. And like um, the, our friends that were in the state, they've got different stages that were sold earlier and I think we were at just a nicer stage like yeah. we waited a little bit longer until the nicer blocks were released. We also put the deposit down on the day of our engagement party, did you know that? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Nice oh, little personal note. That yeah, that we went and played the deposit and then we went and had our engagement party that day. Yep, that has escaped my memory. <laughs>